dishes and laundry. We can pick up any of this stuff. And so warehouse packing, uh, medical robotics, service robotics in general, restaurant robotics, uh, warehouse picking. Uh, and this is designed, this is super durable, super lightweight, and it's licensable. What happens is people are going to start making robots that help us, right, in the home. And they're not going to use these big metal grippers. They're expensive, they're dangerous, they're heavy. They're going to use something like this, which can pick up almost anything. It's designed for injection molding, super lightweight, super durable. <laughs> so Quite a strong grip. Eh? So he knows how much stress to yeah. Yes. He knows how much how much stress he needs. But can you show so we have control of making the cards, the name card of this name card. Ah, no. uh, the the big business card. I need three hands, which would be helpful. <laughs> Let's see here. I think that's the one I got. Oh, it can be as so it has feedback. So yeah. he knows exactly which one, which... How one much pressure you know. on You tell it, and that's why I'm telling it right here. But I have full position control, uh -huh. I have torque control, uh, and so you can set it to do whatever you want. And so on the robot, when it's on the robot, <coughs> we have a... Uh, we, we have a robot built on this with our Cartesian arm. And then two of these, which grabs... Anything. And we are, that is in the JD.com robot comp picking competition December. So there's 10 teams. We have one of the 10 teams. One's from Singapore, the other eight are from China. The Chinese teams were selected out of 100 teams. And the other two teams were other ones. So we, we uh, applied to that. And uh, so we actually, this is, this is an early version of it. But this is... Very hard to see, I'm sorry. But this is that robot with uh, two of these grippers and a Cartesian system, and we're automatically picking saying, yeah, saying, yeah, right, right, right. just general warehouse items. We drive through, we have to recognize it, so we have the real sense 435s, we do machine vision on top of that. And then when the, the robot sees what it's looking for, that's on the shopping list, it moves into position, goes out, picks it up, lifts it, brings it back into a basket. That goes over a basket and dumps it when it has a few things. So this comp this robot's in development right now, and we fly to Beijing, uh, to Tianjin, December 10th and compete on the 19th. Nice. Yeah. And so uh, that's exciting. Also the result. Hmm? The result, you won the competition? No, we're, we yet. plan to. Oh, no, 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 in my head, I thought it we've was. won it. There's great glory. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So we use this one over the other, like this, and webbing between it. So when it closes on something, it closes on anything that's there. So different, different size. Yes, they're they're. Yeah. They close. They close together, but they shape. Whatever shape is there, they automatically fit to. And so that is uh, what we're doing on this robot for a picking competition right now. These right now are being used uh, heavily in research globally around manipulation. Uh, and uh, they, are, they are being used for warehouse picking. And then we have different versions of this. Mm -hmm. And this technology is licensable. Yes, we have uh, multiple patents on it, and uh, this mount mounts on any robot, uh, so it's an ISO 40, ISO 50 mount, we mount with different things, so super light, this has gone three and a half million cycles, that's a three and a half million cycles, yeah, the servo on that one died, 
<laughs> so it's the second servo that died. Ah. But So the key thing is this is a tendon-based technology. Tendon technology has a few issues of any of the grippers out that have it. Durability is terrible. Their stiffness is not very good. Uh, this is, and, and frankly, they're kind of hard to manufacture. So this one has, uh, so the tendons, which are uh, 12 braid, 360 kilogram Dyneema, runs through super hard, super smooth ceramic eyelids. That's that pink thing in there. Those are uh, ceramics for, uh, wear, for production uh, manufacture of clothing. Yeah. And they run the thread through there so they don't get lint buildup in the factory. Because uh, lint buildup's the problem. They don't care about the thread. Right. So how uh, much? <laughs> so we sell this for $2,500 with the mount and everything. But the key thing is that this is licensable. And so people who want to make robots that work in the home, they always have cheesy hands. Not very good hands, right? It's hard to make a good gripper. And you, the, the industrial grippers are beautiful, right? Perfect precision, but not for home, not for service, not lightweight, not mobile. This is designed, I mean, this is uh, with the mount, 380 grams, and it can lift five kilograms with a wrapping grasp. Uh, and so uh, it's... You can go with Pull the tendons out. Oh, you can't break this. Uh. The only way this will break is it wears. Mm. That, that right there can hold over 400 kilograms. And it will never pull out. That is super strong. And that winds up inside. As you can see inside of this, it goes around a bearing. All these bearings are double row, deep roof, concave bearings, all stainless steel, onto a winch. And it just does not break. That's been three and a half million cycles. So I'm going to plug this back in. I'll calibrate it, and it will come back to where it was. So you. People generally don't see that. I pull it apart because they, they are concerned about it. So I'm going to say calibrate. I'm going to hold those just a little so it goes up, found zero. So that guy didn't wind up quite as nice. There we go. But it just doesn't break. It's super strong. With a smaller one, it wraps better. So this is a two liter. Most people are one and a half liters. But when it wraps around, it will not let go.